What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video by yours truly. I cannot tell you how many times I received requests uh, asking me to make a welt build guide. Now, I did drop a, um, a, a good description as to how to build them on my Twitter a number of, uh, probably a week or so ago, but I get it. Sometimes you guys want me to elaborate so you can hear uh, and uh, my thoughts and how I convey to build them appropriately. It's just a little bit more digestible or palatable for some of you. So let's get into it, guys. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna explain to you how I play my welt. Uh, obviously best in slots gonna be wastelander he's also the single-handed unit in the game who can apply imprisonment on demand uh, effectively guaranteeing the the entire buff to just be beneficial to him so wastelander is best in slot that's that's the captain obvious part right i have personally been rocking inert salsado on him not because it's best in slot but because it got the best in slot substats for my particular account right i got some good substats on these uh pieces here as opposed to everything else i have but Rudolent Arena is going to be the hardcore in-game option. I say hardcore because you got to get them up to a 70% crit chance, which means you need pretty damn decent uh, substat mid-maxed uh, crit value because he has no crit rate uh, in his traces or in his kit at all, uh, apart from the Wastelander set. And even then, that 10% increase doesn't, uh, doesn't account for the 70% precondition to receive that 20% increase in his skill damage. Uh, hopefully that makes sense what i'm trying to say is you need a lot of crit rate into a substats to run rudolent so i just run the budget option inert salsado you can you might have to run some shit like space station if that's what has the best substats don't stress out too much about it but when you eventually get that that banger imaginary main stat for the uh, spear and then a banger er or attack percent rope here then you can make that switch over uh speaking of which what are the best substats to run on welt uh, crit rate, crit damage, attack percent, effect hit rate. And if you can get some effect resistance here and there, that'd be nice. Some speed here and there. You d he doesn't have a lot of speed, so you're going to have to get some speed here and there for sure. Uh, but you need speed to, to reach the 134 speed mark, obviously, right? So you want to meet that threshold. But overall, if you meet the speed threshold and you have some effect resistance, everything else needs to be crit rate, crit damage, attack percent, and effect hit rate. Speaking of which, how much effect hit rate does Well need? So general rule of thumb, if you ever see somebody who has a 100% base chance uh, kit, the only difference is his skill set 71% base chance. We'll get to that. But generally, when you see a kit and they have a 100% base chance, think to yourself, I need 50% effect hit rate. That's about uh, the ballpark you need. It's pretty much a guaranteed uh, ballpark number to land his debuffs um in every single scenario inside of the game you have a small percent chance of missing a debuff against level 90 bosses such as kokolia and the robot but trust me i've never seen him miss this ever and i my welt i think sits around 45 percent effect hit rate with the build i normally have for, for him outside of swarm disaster so keep in mind 100 base chance um means go for 50 percent effect hit rate 60 percent is literally guaranteeing it against all content in the game but it's overkill you don't need 60 percent 50 is what you want to go for now skill the skill says 71 percent base chance to reduce the enemy speed by 10 percent right 71% you need more upwards towards 100% effect hit rate. However, what the game doesn't mention is like, same thing with Sampo. Cer certain things will say 71% base chance, but they're not saying that they tick per tick on the uh, on the skill being utilized. So Welt skill hits three times. So you have a 71% base chance to reduce the enemy speed three times. So you don't need any more than 50% effect hit rate because his skill can tick three times. Uh, and the reason I say this is because I never see him miss his skill slow either. He always applies that, which means there's no way it's only ticking one time out of the three ticks that Welt skill does. So now that we got effect hit rate out the way, other than that, you just build him like a general DPS, crit rate, crit damage, and attack percent. Now with regards to his trace tree, uh, you want to focus on these two right here. Uh, Welt has one of the most powerful skills in the game because it hits three times on a single target and then it does extra damage thanks to this passive right here. It's one of the most cracked skills in the entire game. So you want to focus on skill damage by focusing on these two. Uh, his ult, you want to fill that up eventually, but it's not as high of a priority as these two right here because this is the bulk of his damage. Um, and when you unlock his E1, his E1 is one of the most cracked E1s in the game, especially for the standard five stars. Nothing matches his E1 for the standard five stars. Um, Himiko has a good E1 too, though. I'll say that, but it's not as good as well. Well, E1 just essentially doubles his skill damage, which his skill damage is already very high. 
So picking up Welts E1 is a massive W. Um, so just keep that in mind too. I wanted to mention that because he really does have a, a amazing E1. Uh, in regards to everything else inside of his kit, once you pick this up, he gets a 20% damage bonus when they're inflicted with weakness break. That's a very nice uh, expensive uh, damage increase, but it's well worth it. Uh, he ad additionally regenerates 10 energy. So because of this, if you run an ER rope on him, he's going to get his ult up uh, one turn faster as opposed to you running an attack percent rope. But the attack percent rope, the damage you're losing out on in those three swings of using your skill, I would argue is it's going to be more value if you have an attack percent rope, in my personal opinion. Well, it doesn't have an ult that's going to benefit you for one less turn of getting it up. Don't get me wrong, delaying them is massively huge, but you don't need to uh, sacrifice his attack just to use his ult one extra turn because chances are in three skills of, of Welt and the rest of the party, the cycle's done with and you're moving on to the next cycle. Uh, and then how much damage are you losing from that skill proc because you're losing 43% attack boost. If it was like in Bible Lune where he gets skill point efficiency from popping his ult or if it was like uh, a massive damage increase because his ult does shit multiplying. 114% uh, across everyone, it's, it's okay. It doesn't do that much damage. So I personally don't think he needs the ER rope. However, if, if you have like broken sub stats on it, then sure, go for it. I'm gonna go for an attack percent every time. That's how I've been playing them for the since I've got them, and it works wonders for me personally. Uh, but yeah, play what's whatever is comfortable for you. I, I personally think attack percent's better. Now let's go ahead and move on to his best in slot uh, light cones. Go over here to the data bank. Let's go to Nihility. Okay, so obviously if you're going DPS well, you want to go for good night and sleep well. And then if his best in slot is obviously going to be his own signature light cone. Those are the two I'm going to recommend for a DPS welt. If you're going inside of Swarm Disaster, where you're trying to make sure, because a lot of the the the, the final boss, Kakoli, a lot of people have very, very high effect hit rate resistance, making it hard for Welt to apply imprisonment. So in the Swarm Disaster, unless you're using him as a main DPS, I think it's more important to focus on his effect hit rate being as high as possible so that he can apply that imprisonment and delay the hell out of them, especially because he's doing break effect and all this other stuff. So I think Eyes of the Prey, before the tutorial mission starts, this free-to-play light cone, and um, just generally making him a support is where you're going to run a go for inside of Swarm Disaster. I really like this on him as well as a supportive option for Swarm Disaster. But again, that's only if you're trying to ensure that he's uh, applying imprisonment and he's not the main DPS clapping the cheeks off of everyone. If he is... Good night and sleep well and in the name of the world are going to be where it's at. But from a supportive standpoint, I actually do like Eyes of the Prey, Resolution Shines as Pearls of a Sweat, and then before the tutorial mission starts. Um, the same concept would apply if you wanted to put an effect hit rate main stat on his uh, body. I would only do that if you're using him in a supportive role and you're just worried about him applying imprisonment. But that is definitely a suboptimal way to play Welt because he can still support while dealing max DPS. But uh, other than that, I would say that those are going to be the best ways to run Welt. Um, in terms of how much crit rate, crit damage value are you looking for? Again, if you can get to 70% over 120% crit damage, your Welt is rocking and rolling. Attack value wise, 2200 is looking solid. Defense, 1000. Speed, 134. And from there, it should be GG's. Um, other than that, yeah, Welt is just, he's a monster. He's a monster standard banner unit. And I would argue that if you have your free pull value, you can probably pick him over Branya or Branya over him, depending on who you have on your account. Uh, but that's a video for another time. Uh, that's my build guide for Welt. Uh, hopefully I brought you guys some value. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the flip side.